Hi, Jeff Fulkerson here, Tidbits and Tin Snips. Today we're going to talk about torches. There's a little bit of confusion, so we're going to start at the bottom and work our way up. You have different kinds of fuels. The first is butane, and then hotter than that is propane, and then hotter than that is map gas, and then hotter than that is acetylene. Okay, so I want to talk about a couple different kinds of torches. First off, butane. This is the butane that you get to fill like a cigarette lighter. And you fill little torches like these with that. Now, these are great for small things, really small things. And you pull this back, drop that, pull this down, push this, and then hit that, and then it holds it. And, and it gets a nice little flame, and this is great for fusing and for very small soldering jobs like a bezel or something. So that's a little tiny butane torch. Now, this is a little bigger butane torch. And you push down on the little red handle, then push on the button, and then pull this, and now it stays on. And as you can see, this is a bigger flame. And what's important about that, although these get the same heat, because this is a larger flame, it'll heat a larger area, and so you can solder a larger piece. But it doesn't develop that much heat. So if you're going to do a, a, a big piece, you're going to need more heat. So now we'll turn that one off. Now we've got a couple other kinds of butane torches. Uh, this is butane that you typically, you can get it at, in the camping supply places or kitchen supply places. And then this is a torch head and it just goes on, turns on, and there you go. And it's very simple, on, off, righty, tidy, lefty, loosey, click the handle. And as you can see, this is a bigger flame. And this will do even larger projects, okay? Now, the last butane, the last butane torch we want to look at uh, is a, a Watani. And basically, you can get this at kitchen supply places. It's more expensive. It has a little bit of an adjustment, which you'll see is worthless. And it's the same principle. You turn on and start it up. And you can see it's a much bigger torch. So you can solder bigger things because it, it gets to the same temperature, but it's a bigger flame. And then this adjusts the airflow and see this now we're doing creme brulee. We don't want that. Okay? And then you just turn it off. And there you go. So these torches so far are called gas air. Okay? And what that means is just the ambient air in the room is what use it, the torch uses to burn the fuel. Next we're gonna we're gonna skip right over propane because basically propane and, and map gas come in the same kind of cylinders, right? You've all seen these at the hardware store. And there's a, a number of different torches that uh, are are propane tor excuse me, propane torches you can use with map gas. And essentially this one is nice because it's got a hose on it and it's got its own striker. There's a bunch of different ones, but they're basically plumber torches, and the problem is they don't have that blue tip flame, uh, so they don't get, they're not easy to, you don't have as much control with them. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So we turn this on, and then we click this. That's a swirl flame. That's what your plumber likes, okay? And then we just click this to turn it off, and, uh, but that burns hotter, and it will actually give you a, a, uh, uh, a bigger you can do a bigger piece with this than with any of those uh, uh, butane torches and there's there's a number of different torch heads that'll go on a on a on a propane or map gas next we're going to get to really my favorite this is a presto light torch it's a settling air okay and there's different ones smith makes a great one that a lot of uh jewelers use and, and it's attached to uh, an acetylene tank, a lot of, and it has to have a regulator on it. A lot of people are afraid of the acetylene tank and think they're going to blow up their house. The only thing you have to worry about acetylene is you have to secure the tank, because if you knock it over and crack the valve on it, then you got a problem. Other than that, you're fine. Now, this is a striker or a, a torch lighter, and it's just like your, your uh, kitchen when you go to light your stove. You push down on this, and it makes a little spark in there, and that lights it. So we'll turn this on a little bit, just a little, and then we'll stick this in there, and we'll stick this, there we go. Now, this has a very uh, adjustable flame, we can go bigger, littler, and you can see it's a beautiful flame, and it's very hot, and you can solder just about anything in the jewelry realm with this. I've soldered big bracelets with it, all kinds of things. 
and you can actually it has uh, different size tips so you can even get bigger if you want to melt metal for casting or making ingots melting down your scrap finally I want to talk about so those are all gas and ambient air this is a little torch and you'll notice it has two valves this is an acetylene and oxygen or oxyacetylene and what that means is it's forcing the air or the oxygen and forcing the acetylene and it mixes in the torch and it gives you a very hot flame now this of course it comes with a bunch of different tips but this is a very tiny torch so the way you like this is you turn on a little bit of gas of the acetylene then you slowly add your oxygen and that is a little tiny really hot flame so this is great for uh, balling up uh, uh, the ends of wire and things like that and when you turn it off you do it just the opposite you turn off the oxygen and then you turn off the acetylene and these also come in portable models where they use propane yeah propane and oxygen bottles but the oxygen bottles are really expensive so anyway I hope that helps those are a bunch of different kinds of torches that uh, jewelers use and you can help pick the one you like okay